Welcome back to Vampire. We've got one more side quest to do before I get back to the main quest, and that is in Southwark I need to find the site where the bombing took place in the old days so that that drunk person at the blue turtle, turquoise turtle, can pay tribute to the victims. So I've just made my way here across the tracks, or underneath the tracks anyway, and we're back at the area where we actually started the game. But it's a bit different. There's different people here, I think. And of course now I actually have abilities and now I'm not running for my life so I can explore it more. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, remember I came down from that ledge up there? I remember that. And then I think it taught me how to teleport onto that boat over there with F, right? Feels like the good old days. Turn around, sir. This one's mine! Yeah, we can teleport up there. That's right. I don't think there's anything actually up here, is there? Oh, one thing. So just gotta explore around to find the site of the bombing. It's just somewhere in basically the entire place. Now I've definitely been in here. Yeah, the loot's respawned, but whoa. What's up? The Pruin rookie hear me outside? Guess so. Anyway, yeah, loot's respawned, but eh, I'm not too interested in that. It's fine, I'm doing pretty well on loot. It ain't human! Kill it! <laughs> Oh god, I just mashed F while going over a bunch of rats. Trying to get the loot. I'm sorry, I'm glad I didn't eat any of them. Gotta be careful around the little squeakers. Ooh. I never found this, right? No, it's not marked on the map. Oh, I think I went up to this door in the beginning. Did I not go inside, or what? No, I went in here. Didn't I? Surely I did. But why is it not marked on the map? Yeah, in fact, I think they taught me how to use F right here. Or, no, they taught me back on the boat. But then they forced me to use it here. Can I not actually sleep here? Is it a fake safe house? It's locked, all right. How bizarre. Oh, wait. This is it? New hideout unlocked. I'm really confused. Oh, well. Suppose it doesn't really matter that much. I'm still sort of stuck on level 3 items. I can't upgrade my hacksaw or my good pro and stake really at all, because I just don't have any of the good handle parts. I've just got one tiny one, and then I think one normal-sized one. Yeah, so I'm just really missing those parts. However, thankfully there's a tier system for the crafting ingredients, which makes it so that I can upgrade some of the lower tier stuff without using the crafting components I get used by the higher tier stuff, which is pretty nice. Makes me feel more able to experiment. One of the things I want to try is I want to upgrade the common mace. This is the weapon that I still haven't used. I keep forgetting to try it out. This is the one that has the stun weapon ability. And I still don't know what that means. But let's get it up to level 3. Huge damage increase, by the way, from 121 to 176. 
Oh, I haven't gotten a specialization either, have I? Ooh. Do I want more stun? I mean, I do, but I also want more damage. Thing is, if I'm using this, then I'm not going to be able to stun enemies using the stake, because it's a two-handed weapon, so stun is going to be extra important. Hmm. But then again, I don't know how the special ability works. I'll split the difference. I'll get some stun and some damage. Let's try it out on this asshole over here. Let me right click. So that's the stun ability. Yeah, what does it do? Guaranteed stun or what? Okay, let's try this out. So, it definitely didn't fully stun them, but it did quite a bit of stun damage to the first enemy. So, I'm going to try to do a normal hit, see how much stun it does. Oof. That almost stunned them outright. And that was my stun ability. I don't understand what's different. Does it stun more? It's really hard to tell. It is a different attack, right? It's always an overhand. And it's also slower. I think. Normal. Normal. Stun. It sounds slower. It looks a little bit slower. Weird. I wish they were a little bit clearer about that. You. Is this a... Is this called a dry dock? Anyway, boats came in here, they closed it off, and then they drained out the water, but it's all mucky. Listen to those squelchy noises. Ooh, this might be the site of the bombing. This looks like a, a work site. Oh, right. This is right about where I woke up. This is the mass grave that they had dug. Yeah, I never got to explore this place at all. I had to run for my life. Bad memories of this place. Eerie. I think I need to continue down the main pathway. Go further... Wait. Yeah, turn right here, and then that allows me to get down here. Okay. Need to get more south. This place looks like the picture I saw of the bomb site. Is that a the quest item? Is that for a tribute? Yes. Ah. The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. I should find some way to pay my respects. It just said minus one flower bouquet. Where did it go? May all who suffered from this tragedy find all rest in peace. If I just placed it, then it didn't really disappear. I don't understand. But I'll take it. So there's still this whole south area that I haven't been to. I definitely want to explore that. Oh, hi. What's this? Manufacturing place. They haven't noticed my existence yet. Did I run through here? I guess I did. Anyway. 
Oh, right, I still got this thing on. Alright. Okay, stop that. This thing's pretty damn satisfying to use. It's got a nice thwack. But I don't understand the stun ability at all. I don't get it. I'm just assuming that it maybe does slightly more stun, stun damage, but at the cost of a slower swing, and I'm not even sure if it does. How weird. Oh. Foundry key. Oh, that goes to. I wonder if this is stuff that you even could have possibly gotten when you were running away from everybody. Probably not, because you can't loot enemies when you're in combat. Hi. Best turn around if I were over there. There's one of them vermin. Watch out for them teeth. Fuck, it's fast. Okay, another test. I, I think I just c did confirm that it uh, takes more stamina when you do the stun attack, but let's just confirm. Hopefully this enemy has enough stun to withstand some of it. Normal. Normal. Normal attack. Ah, no, they're super low on stamina. But yeah, the first one I did a normal attack and it took less than half of their stamina and then I did a right click attack and it took them all the way down. So I think that confirmed that it does do what I would sort of expect it to do. I don't know, it's not a very exciting ability though, is it? Holy night. Ouchie! <laughs> I, I don't have enough blood to kill him. Still wondering what that key is for. I love wrecking saw horses. Is really satisfying to use. I do love that thwack. Wait, have I just gone in a circle or what? I think I did. No, I just. Yeah, yeah, I went across there, came down here, and then went back into the other factory. Okay. So this is the area I haven't been? Yes. Okay. This place is 
confusing. I remember jumping down there when I was escaping, which means that's not where I escaped from. Looks like I can't get all the way back to where I came from. There's a gate that's sort of like open just a tiny crack, but I can't open it really for real. So I think they're preventing me from going all the way back to the beginning. But anyway, I found something new that might be what the foundry key's for. So instead of going across the bridge, I can actually keep going up in the foundry. Lots of supplies. Perhaps it's for this drawer. Aha! There's some lore in here or something? It's gotta be something good, right? Ooh. Laughing at the Guard. For more than a century, the Guard of Pruin has been a dissident faction from the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. It is important, as the divergence of opinion between our two fraternities are now well established, to remember what happened and why we shall, alas, consider these former, former brothers our, 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 our opponents should be our, our, our opponents and adversaries, and mock their law of conduct. Kendall Stone founded the Guard in 1801. He was a former legate of the Brotherhood and long-standing member of the Brotherhood Council. His departure was the result of an irreconcilable dispute within the Council, when Kendall stated that the Brotherhood had to reconsider its non-violent approach to the study of vampires and that the eradication of these immortals had to be the ultimate goal of all of our researches. Since the terrible schism occurred, the relations between the Guard and the Brotherhood have always been difficult. The Guard of Pruin considers the Brotherhood as traitors and allies of their foes, while we call them thieves and zealots for the many ancient and precious books we kept for centuries which they destroyed or stole when they left. I will constantly recuse any accusation of cowardice, for I know the courage it requires for our brothers to approach and observe hostile immortals. I will never forget the cruel loss of the unique texts and scrolls burnt by Kendall and its followers when they left. And I will never cease to laugh at their stupidity, revealed in their very name since they, ch since they chose to call themselves the Guard of Pruin as a reference of King Arthur's shield, thus defining themselves as the true defenders of this land, when the true scholar perfectly knows that in the book of... To Lysen, Pridwin is only the name of Arthur's boat during his expedition to the mythical territories of Anwin, or An Anwufen? What a symbol indeed. From Whispers of Our Past by Usher Talltree, Primate of St. Paul. Interesting. So this reinforces things we've seen and things we've heard about the Guard of Pruin being uh, sort of cultish and very full of zealotry. But also something that I didn't know at all, which is that the Brotherhood... Where is it? Brotherhood uh, Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole was actually, was, and I assume still is, focused on a, a non-violent approach to the study of vampires. Interesting. Now, the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, isn't that what... Um, isn't that what the uh, Doctor is a part of? By the doctor, I mean the person whose name I totally, totally did not just forget. Um, Swansea. Yeah, aren't they a member? Let's tell Dyson about what we found and finish up the last side quest. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened. Just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well... Thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't oh. want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. I mean, no, I'm not going to leave you alone. We have an issue here now. An issue of do I need to bite you too? Three in one day, though. Can I do it? Uh. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No. I don't... I don't want to remember it. 
Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson ammunitions factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. Oh. Okay, they're not... So they're not some heartless murderer. Alright, I'm not gonna bite them then. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just. By killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. Times like these, a good drink's just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. That bomb also killed you that day, don't you see? You just die a slower death, drink by drink. I know. Maybe I deserve judgment. Until that day, I'll just be Dyson the drunk, not Dyson the murderer. Is it true Sean Hampton saved your life? Yep. A sad saint grabbed my soggy ass and brought me back to the pier after I fell into the canal. Oh, I was a wreck back then. <laughs> More than you are now? Your story is a sad one, Mr. Delaney. Sean Hampton really acted like a saint that day. But I suppose I'm just another lost soul who doesn't deserve to be saved. Times like these, a good drink's just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. I think that's it. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Started with about 7,000 XP, so I figure it's time to rest now that we've completed all the things in this district. See what happens with the district condition after I rest now that, well, lots and lots of quests have been done, but also I kind of killed two people, sucked them dry. They're bad people, so I don't regret it, but see what happens. So I had tons of XP. I put one into the second level of Blood Cauldron, so finally upgraded my ultimate. Didn't really do as much as I'd like it to, went from 400 blood damage to 500, but it's something. And then I also put a bunch of points into basically just upgrading my general stats. So I increased my health by a bit more, I increased my endurance by a bit more, my blood capacity, uh, big thirst went from 60 to 80%. I don't think I'm going to bother with fast regeneration, which gives me some healing from doing a bite, because I feel like I can heal pretty well from autophagy. Um, didn't upgrade these, but yeah, I upgraded all of these, upgraded my ultimate, and now I'm about to get the next level for one of my combat abilities. I'm going to go with Claws. I've really been neglecting Blood Spear, haven't I? Ah, don't be tempted, it's fine. Let's get the next level of Claws. So I get to, I've got a split here. Get to choose which type I want to go with. So this one up here, it does give you increased damage. And, uh, oh. Actually, I didn't notice this before. It actually takes less time for you, for you to be able to cast it again. From three seconds to one and a half. <laughs> the last level here is 0.5. You can almost just instantly, constantly do it. Until you run out of blood. Fearsome. But anyway, yeah, split is a mild increase in damage, and you get some blood from it. And the other way does more damage, but it does stun instead of blood. And it looks like it it does reduce the recovery time, but not as much as this one. Anyway, I don't feel like I need the rather meager blood gain. This one only gives you two gain. Because I feel like I'm pretty good at being able to stun opponents with my weapons. So I'm just going to go for raw damage. I'm nervous about what's going to happen tomorrow. I just... It's going to go down. I'm sure of it. I just don't want it to go into chaos. What is this? Is this the uh, result of me letting Sean Hampton, the Skull, live? Christian faith or cult? What is immortality? Having your name inscribed in history, raising children who will honor your memory, earning your place among the saints of heaven. Sean Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum in East End, has his opinion on the matter. Eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the Sad Saint, for his 
unequaled empathy towards others, and his constant pity for their plight, has created with his asylum a haven for lost souls. He keeps the poor fed and gives them a roof to sleep under. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days and his last accessible orations took a turn towards cult-like warship. If heresy can be defined as faith gone adrift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics. For the first time since I have known the sad saint, people speak ill of him and the mysterious chants heard through the closed doors of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of this suspicion, the sanitary situation of the docks has drastically decreased. Deprived of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough. Preferring to catch their death under the stars than join an unknown cult, that alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint. A reputation that will be restored only when the doors of his asylum open once again. Okay, I just want to say that this newspaper article, I, it's, it's cool. It gives me a good picture of what's happened, but it doesn't really fit in with the cycle of the game where you sleep and you wake up literally the next day. This is written as if a couple weeks have gone by, and yet it's only been a day. Still, though, I understand why. Oh, my God. Oh, it's 50%. It's literally 1% away from being hostile. Shit. Sean Hampton's missing. Missing? Wow, okay, I really... Hmm. I really need to see if I can do something about this. Right. Uh, so what's going on with you? Do you have two diseases? You got two stars. Why is that? Is it just anemia or what? I'm not sure what the other one is, if there is another one. But anemia and fatigue. That I can help with. Let's go do that. Do you need help? A, re a real doc. Then let me give you a prescription. Right, well that's everybody recovering now. I noticed something on the map that I've never seen before. Exc exclamation marks. Event. An unknown event happened. Let's go check it out, it's on the bridge to the southwork. There's also one over... Oh, actually there's quite a few of them. One over here in the western docks, two of them at the hospital. One in between the hospital and Whitechapel. Let's see what's going on. Should just be right up here. Oh. We got a beast. I wonder if that's because it's in critical condition, or... Well, no, because the other places have events, too. I mean, they could be different things, but they're definitely not in critical condition. Dyson Delaney? Oh. Dyson. Well, um... How are you doing now that I've paid tribute to the, the victims? Frank. Oh my Frank. god. Frank. Oh, that is really neat. I was not expecting that. of cheap gin and a small key. That is actually really cool. That's so... I, I was not expecting that at all. It's like... It's almost as if their guilt was so strong it turned them into a monster. And then there's something sort of darkly... Not even darkly humorous. Honestly, just sad that there's just a small bottle of cheap gin on them. That was really interesting. That's actually... Uh, good, I was worried that they were, it was just a generic beast, and then I was thinking maybe these other events are just the same thing, right? Just like generic beasts or something that if you don't take care of them will hurt the uh, health of the district, but 
That was definitely very specific. So it's, it's not a generic event. Gives me hope that the others are interesting too. Oh, right. And this one is actually at the asylum, which is good because I wanted to know if I could do something about that. I wonder if that's Sean Hampton and them being missing. So what's that small key for? What do, what do I do with that? Is it a quest item? Belong to Dyson Delaney. Probably used to open a box or a trunk. I mean, I don't know where they lived. As far as I could tell, they didn't. They, they just lived in the turquoise turtle. I really don't know what the key could be for. Thinking that they seem to spend all their time here at the pub, I was thinking maybe they have a room there or something. So I went up, looked upstairs. There's two rooms. It's, it's not for anything up there. Look downstairs too. Nothing. So, did they have a house that they just <laughs> never went to? <laughs> Where would it be, though? How would I find it? I have no idea. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I was going to go straight to the main quest, but actually, let's check out all of these events that are happening over here, starting with what's going on at the Asylum.